I don't remember where I get the self scope. I'll find out later, I guess. Oh, oh. Bog, hello. Ooh, trainers. There are trainers. Okay. Alright, yeah. My memory of the, the Gen 1 past, like, the first three gens is a little sketchy, but I remember the general stuff. Chandler Hope. Ooh, boy. That's new. These things are very similar to Ab the Aberline in that they're very offensive, but a very shitty defense. So I should be able to deal with it with a wing attack. Quick attack won't do anything because it's a ghost, though, so I'll just make sure I keep on the wing attacks. Yeah, it should be one I thought it'd be one shot in. Like, maybe if it was a Gengar, it would survive? Maybe? But. When does it evolve into Hunter? I think it's like 25? 6? I don't know. Wow, I'm saved! Maybe it's earlier. Don't know. Did you say you're saved? What, were you saved from the ghost? The ghost can be identified with the oscilloscope. Do I get that in this dungeon? Maybe, maybe not. Well, let's look around. We'll probably find out. Um. We got another trainer here. Be gone, Malevolent Spirit! Hey! My father was a Malevolent Spirit. Chandler Patrika would like to battle. Ghastly. More Ghastlings! More food for the slaughter. I'm not sure if there's wild battles in here or not. <laughs> maybe I'm just getting really unlucky, or maybe you could call that lucky if I can't catch anything. But, uh, we'll see. I'm sure I I'll look this up at some point if there's anything in here, but not right now. Because I'm in the middle of Pokemans. No more Patrika. Patricia. Patricia. That's that's it. The spirit left. What do you have to say about it? That is above. They must have been possessed. Oh yeah, possessed. That's it. Okay, there's more floors, but let's do this this person first. Oh, there is wild battles! Oh! A ghost? Okay, um... Here's my, uh, rules with these, uh, ghosts. Uh, I, that I just thought of just now. This isn't a Pokemon that I can even catch, so I'm not gonna count it as an encounter. Because, like, it's impossible to catch, so... It's similar to when you start the game and you don't have Pokeballs. There's nothing you can really do, so... I'm not gonna count this until I have, I'm able to actually catch something here. But, uh, will I kill this thing? No, I think I'm just gonna run. Goodbye, ghost. So I'll come back here later and probably catch a, a ghastly, maybe a haunter. We'll see. Or maybe a Marowak. No, I don't think you can catch the Marowak. Can you catch Cubans in here? Possibly. But they might actually still be considered ghosts. I don't know. How are Pokemon doing? Uh, they're all fun. Ooh, Happy has an item. Happy has an item. What you got, Happy? Nugget. Ooh, money. Yes. Be cursed with me. Qua! But I don't want to be cursed, mommy. Common question today. What's your favorite ghost story? Do you have a favorite ghost story? If I had to say my favorite ghost story, it'd be the one with Gasly in it because he's a ghost. I, I don't know ghost stories. I was never good with ghost stories. Because I'm a pansy and I never like listening to them because I don't enjoy getting scared, so I was never really listening to ghost stories. But if you remember some, let me know your favorite in the comment section. Or don't, because no one seems to care about the comment questions in the days. Because even though I have viewers, and they're, they're real viewers, they do watch the whole videos, it's like, it's kind of a surprise to me, that they don't comment, and I'm like, eh, why? If you're watching this, which if you're watching the series, you would be. Just comment, you don't have to say comment question in the days, but at least every once in a while, so I know you're watching. Uh. Anyways. Ghastly. Um, okay, more Ghastlies. Let's kill it again. And there we go. Level up. Success. Ooh, pretty good stats. Lack of special defense again. Don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's his nature? I don't remember. What? What? Best response. That is the best response. You win, good madam. Uh, oh, gee, more ghosts. Oh, no. Ah, there's a ghost. Run away. And we got another person over here. But we got a Pokeball over here. Lots of Pokeballs, actually. Bite me. 
Beat me not. Uh, beat you so. Yep. Chandler Jody would like to battle. Ghastly. Gee, I wonder if anyone here is not using a Ghastly. I might be legitimately surprised by that. I think I'm gonna switch out after this fight. Give Gravelers some experience. The only problem with Gravelers, I'm afraid he might be slow. Because, like, I. Like, he's fast, but Ghastly's are. Like, he's fast because of his high level, but Ghastly's are just faster in general, so I'm not sure if they're gonna outspeed him. Probably they will. Let's look at speed. Like, what's your speed? 59, 75, 38. Like, 38? I, I don't know if that's fast enough. Um, the, the Whitney should be fine. Um, and I guess I'll go ahead and use a potion on her. Because I can. Well, I have money to spare for now. Yay! Alright. Okay, so let's get some items. Great ball. Nice. Add to my collection of great balls. Awakening. Uh, replace the awakening I wasted earlier. Oh, wild battle. Elixir, nice. But, man, look at those levels. 14, 15, 18. Like, like, geez. Like, it takes so much training to catch them up to your regular Pokemon. That's one thing that's a little annoying about this generation. What about you? We can't determine the identity of the ghosts. It's like you need a handy dandy silk scope. I don't know where you get it though. I know it's somewhere in one of these ghost tower things. Don't know if it's necessarily in this ghost tower thing, but it's definitely somewhere. It's definitely somewhere. Back to the dead. Back to the renegade. Ghost no! Ah! Yes, because I totally look like a ghost. My feminine figure really outlines the ghostliness of my appearance. Chandler Paula. Like Paula Tina? No. Not actually. I haven't played Kid Icarus. Uh, I actually played the original one a bit, and sucked and stopped. But the new, um, the new fangled one, not really. I don't have a way to hit you, do I? I do not. Okay, let's switch out then. Um, I think I'm gonna give Whitney a move so you can hit ghosts. You know, uh, you know what this would be a good time for? Um, What's that move? You know, the move, the move that lets normal moves hit? Uh, ghosts? Oh man, the one that never really has any use, might have uses here? I do not remember what it's called. I think there's a couple different variants of it. it there's one that's like kind of a scent move, but I don't remember what like, it's... What kind of scent move is it? It's a scent move. That you use your nose for. Yeah, anyways, uh, do we have anything I can get with Whitney so, just so we can, she can hit things? There are ghosts. Where's the TM case? TM case, there you are. Let's see, water boss. Um, dig, brick break. I was gonna give brick break to Rourke, actually. I still think I wanna do that. Um, aerial ace, secret power. Alright, aerial ace. I can give that to, uh, Rattata, right? Not able! I thought he could learn the... What? This is bullshit. Okay, um... I don't want to give Dig to him. Well... I don't know. Man... Maybe I just won't be able to hit ghosts with him? Her? Rock Tomb? Can't even learn Rock Tomb. Of course not. Can you learn Brick Break? No. So, nothing good. Okay, never mind then. You're just gonna be stuck not being able to hit ghosts. So get out of the front of the party, you useless, useless Pokemon. I'm just gonna do most of this with uh, Falcon Army, thanks. Okay. That might be the self scout. With any luck. Oh! Come at me, Chandler. You shall join us in the living. The, the cha you, you want me to become a Chandler? Is this some kind of like business scam to have me become like a spirit medium? Cause I seen I seen Ace Attorney. I don't want to put up with that shit. Like you get accused of murder all the time because it's like 
you can't exactly say, oh, I was the dead person, so it's okay. It doesn't work that way, I don't think. Maybe it should work that way. Chandler Ruth. More gasolines. Why am I not surprised? Someone in here better have, like, a haunter or something. One of these days, a gas is going to live a wing attack, and it's going to super surprise me. I'm going to be in the middle of, like, drinking my water or something, and I'll be like, what the fuck? What a nightmare. Gas in line can learn that, actually. be interesting if uh, yours had it. Oh, jeez. So many freaking wild battles. Okay, so we got someone over there. We got a funky little circle there. Maybe that's the silk thing. Like, if it's not the top of the tower, that's probably what it is. Of course, it could be completely wrong, and it is something else altogether, but I don't know that yet. My gosh, all these freaking ghosts, they seem to love me or something. Do you fight? Whoa! Entered the purified and protected zone. Three spoken more fully healed. Oh, interesting. Come, child, I've purified this space. You can rest here. What's this? Ooh, cleanse tag. What? I don't remember what that does. Does that ward off ghosts or something? Where is it? Cleanse tag, where are you? An item to be held by a Pokemon. It repels wild Pokemon if the holder is first in the party. Interesting. I might put that on. Um, for now, because I can't even really fight the wild Pokemon. So sure. Hold the cleanse tag. That way we won't have to deal with a bunch of wild Pokemon. Bunch of random ghosts popping up and making me cut the video. The jerks. Zombies! Zombies on your lawn! We don't want zombies on your- what? Zombies? Karina. There's never been zombies in Pokemon. Maybe that should be the new type instead of fairy. I don't know. Fairy type grind my gears, but this isn't Gen 6 so I shouldn't talk about that. Then again, I've never actually played a Gen 6 game, so maybe they're not as bad as I'm making them out to be, but I think they're bad, from what I've seen from the competitive scene. Because I know about a lot of the Gen 6 Pokemon and Gen 6 stuff, I just don't really, I haven't really seen the campaign, the campaign at all. But, uh, yeah, from what I've seen, the type kind of fucked up the game system, game, like, symmetry a lot. Like, it seems like the type that a fan would think of and be like, this would be so cool, it freaking beats Dragon, it's immune to Dragon, it's amazing, the only types that beat it will be, uh, Poison Steel, the shitty offensive type, because they don't good offensive moves, yeah, 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 and, uh, it'll be amazing, it, it, it just seems like some fan made it up and just made it super OP, because they wanted a super cool type, and yet it's a real type, and, I don't know, it bugs me, anyways. All I can say is, I think the types were fine the way they were. Beating Dragon was Ice's shtick. You've essentially stolen that shtick from them. So, I don't know. It, it, it annoys me. Got a nugget. Okay. Fight me. Ugh, her. I wonder, if she saw me in there, would she come in and attack me? Probably not, but if she did, she'd trap me. That'd be funny. Janae. Janae? Jane? Janae? I... I don't know how you say that. Alright, more wing attacks! Take that, Chugga. I think it's the most useless move, but guess what? Getting a lot of use out of it now, jerk! Okay, I gotta stop bashing on him. I mean, it's just, I'm repeating it over and over. People get it. I don't like Chugga. And, you know, it's not that I don't like Chugga. It's, just, it's, it's LP, LP style. Ugh, don't like it. Anyways. I want to see him do a blind LP. I really do. Like, it would really take him out of his comfort zone. He's normally super informative. I want to see him do a straight out blind LP. I'd love to see how he handles it. I've watched that shit. Um, have I fought you? No. Give me your all. I accept your challenge. All right, what do we got? Chandler, Tammy? Okay. Haunt. Ooh, a haunter. You're new. Cool. Um, but I still think... Am I going to be faster than you or not? Ooh, hunters are quick. Still faster. Am I still one-shot you? Yep, you're still frail. Oops, if you were Gengar, you probably would have outspent me and lived that, but you weren't, so oh well. Which means when do gashes evolve? I'm, I'm Actually, now I think about it, I'm feeling 22. Yeah, I'm feeling 22. Look at that special attack. Oh boy, we're on our way. When does Falconer evolve again? I don't remember. Like... It's gotta be soon. 32, 36? Definitely the next five levels, Max. Uh, okay. But part of me wants to just keep using Falconer because of it. 
Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep using Falconer. He's the, he's the weakest right now. Even though he's the highest level, he's still the weakest. And what do we got over here? Ah, we got a Pokemon. We got another ghost. Falconer, your cleanse tag is supposed to repel that. Give him top of this shit. All right, more money. Because <laughs> I never use the X items. Uh, okay, fight me. Give me blood. Ah. Uh. Come on, Game Freak. What's up with this like place? This whole lavender town, this tower. It's all so morbid. Angelica, ghastly. And dead. Critical. Did I get a critical at all during my battle with Gyarados? I don't think I did. Of course not, even though it has an increased crit rate uh, when you're using Razor Leaf. Didn't get a single crit. Figures. Uh, how many, am I running out of wing attacks? I know they have a good amount of ammo, but I'm not sure. I should check the usage, because I haven't really been paying attention to it. Let's see here, what do we got? Ghastly. More Ghastly. All the Ghastly. Oh wow, I have plenty of wing attacks left. That's right, the spot that heals and regenerates stuff, right. Yeah, that's, that gave all my stuff back, so I have, I have plenty of wing attacks. Hmm, one more trainer until I level up again, probably. Grown. Thank you for contributing to my uh, growing fund of money. Asset of money. Key, key, key! Oh no, do you perchance have... Uh, Ghastly or a Hunter? Ooh, maybe a Hunter. Jennifer. No, still a Ghastly. You are very underwhelming, good madam. That's right, I stopped calling females, uh, sirs. I'm polite about it. Pray for experience! Key! Okay. And what do we got? What else do we got? We got some stuff. Hidden item? No. I feel like this should be. Feels like the correct thing. Feels like the correct thing. Urf! Qua! So, do they think I'm the ghost or are they being possessed? It's hard to tell. Chandler or Amelia would like the battle. Amelia! I'd like the hero Amelia! I've been watching The Devil's a Part Timer. I actually finished watching it yesterday. Well, technically today, this morning, late at night, yesterday. But, um, oh, it's enjoyable. I just hate that it's. I don't know. I never, I never have a fan of anime that are like 13 episodes long, they're based on some light novel, and they may or may not ever get a season 2. It, it really bugs me. It was good for what it was worth. I pray it gets a season 2. It's still fairly new, so it still has time to, but if it doesn't, oh well. Do I recommend checking it out to people who have never seen it? I don't know if I do or not. I mean, I enjoyed it. But it's the kind of thing where you get to the end and you're just left with kind of a bad taste in your mouth. Because it's very incomplete feeling. But, uh, pick your poison. If you feel it's worth it, it's definitely enjoyable for what it's worth. But, uh, it will end on kind of a cliffhanger-ish ending. So, uh, if they don't make a season two, and you're not feeling like picking up the white novels, which I know I'm not, uh, there's nothing you can do about it. Although, to clarify, Cliffhanger, I mean, like, the generic, oh, they beat, like, the disc one final boss, but there's still an obvious final boss waiting to be beaten, and they never beat them. But, uh... Oh, happy as an item. Nice. What do you got? By the way, Gurren's dead right now, just so you know. You might think he's alive, but uh, he's just, uh, he's, he's faking it. He's still dead. Wait, he's faking it? His corpse is faking it. His corpse thinks he's alive, but he's not. Just, just remember that. We're going to go deposit another death box later on. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and switch around. Who do I want to put up front? Whitney? No, Whitney can't fight. Ugh. Feeling just Falcon or soul this whole thing. No, yeah, let's just do that, because, like, I'm just going to do that. Like, I don't even know why I bother doing anything else. I mean, for one thing, I want to train Falconer up so he could level, like, evolve, but also, everything else is a bad time against, um, ooh. Ooh, that's, this is the Marowak. I actually don't think I can fight this thing right now. Can I beat it? 
Because this is the Marowak, right? Ooh, man, it's a high level. Um, let's just try wing attacking it. Get out, get out. Ah! Oh, what is that? Ah! Oh. Okay. I guess I can't do this part yet until I come back with the silk scope. Alright, fair enough. I remember the... I, I know that's a Marowak, but uh, I guess I can't really do anything about it until I get the silk scope. So I guess this marks the end of our uh, Ghost Tower adventure for now, which means I can start using one of the Pokemon again. Thankfully. Now, how do we get out? <laughs> uh, I can't use Dig because, uh, for one thing, I can dig out of a tower anyways, but also because Guren's dead. Just in case you forgot. Fuck, how do I get out of here? I'm so confused. Man, I, have the, I got that ghost charm for a reason, and it's not working very well. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Um, now that's done, I can go ahead and take, uh, the Kun's tag off Falconer. I can give my other Pokemon some experience. But, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So we're gonna come back there with the Silph Scope eventually. Uh, first thing though, we have another uh, visitor for the death box. Let's see here, let's move Pokemon. Now let me remind myself of what routes I've visited because memory right now is sketchy. Um, no, stay there. Uh, route 24, route 4, route 11, route 25, route 5, route 9, rock tunnel. Okay, and then we go to the death box. Yeah, very few deaths so far in this playthrough. Gentle, uh, not nature. Route 2, Viridian Forest, and you, my friend, are route who what? Route 1, yeah. Okay, and then to remind myself of the Pokemon in my party, actually, I still gotta move Pokemon. What am I doing? Um, party Pokemon, that's it, that's the button I'm looking for. Let me just check the summary so I can check where everyone was met. Mount Moon, Route 22, Route 3, Pallet Town, Route 6, and Diglett's Cave. Okay, Mr. Diglett's Cave, unfortunately, you have now become a permanent visitor. Um, you have both Cut and, uh, Dig, I believe, right? Yeah, you have Cut and Dig. That's a shame. Um, as for who I can use now in your place... Well, let's see here. I could give, uh... Eradicate Dig, actually. Um, I think I might actually do that. Dig isn't, like, mandatory, it's just helpful. Cut is the one that's mandatory. And I don't know if I want to waste Cut on something like, let's say, a Sandshrew. Because I might use Sandshrew? And again, there's two of them. I might just use him as a slave then. Yeah, that makes more sense now that I think about it. But I don't know if I want to waste the Dig TM on a slave. Definitely not. Um, let's see if he can even learn him. We even learn cut. Yeah, let's see here. Can you learn the cut? The master technique that's been passed down for generations. Um, you can. Well. I don't know, let me look at this, let me compare Sandshrews first. Let me see which one I like better. So this was level 10, this was stuff at level 13. Sassy Nature versus Quiet Nature. Well, Sassy Nature seems a little better than Quiet Nature. Um, both have Sand Veil. Let's see, three levels away, two speed away. Um, one special defense away. Four, ooh, four special attack away. Five defense away. It's kind of hard to tell without them being on the same level. Uh, hmm. I don't know which one I'd want to use, if either. So for now, 
I think I'll just use, like, Bell Spout as a cut slave. Yeah. That'll make everyone happy. If it can learn cut, of course. If it can't learn cut, oops. Let's see here. Bag. And yes, you can. Okay, neat. Um, now, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I might want to give Dig to Radicate, actually. At least now that uh, Gurren is unfortunately gone. If he can learn it, I think a Dig would, would work well on him. Yeah, Happy could learn it. Uh, I think Whitney wants it. Yes. Let's see here, what do we got? Hyper Fang, Tail Whip, Focus Energy. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Focus Energy. Yes! Stuff the machine right into his eye sockets! They look like they kinda go blind for a second there. It's kinda weird. Okay, so. Whitney now has that move. Let's look around this her uh, move set. Hyper Fang still be the default front move, and then uh, Tail Whip is going to be the back end move. Well, no, we're going to have attack underneath, I think. Yeah, and then you know, no, this move set looks fine. It's fine just the way it is.